yeah hello there and welcome back and let us continue with our lesson over here and let us create the uh, custom exception class over here and for that we will require one or more object uh, you can also create without it but it will be good if you can have that particular package so let's go and search for the uh, eqa tabl equitable and once we have that let's go and grab that so this will help us to generate uh, basically a data class we are also using a phrase but i would just like to show you how we can make use of a equitable to create some data class over here and uh, for that let's go and let's go to the installation over here you can just go and read the documentation over here so uh, what you can do is you can just uh, basically generate the uh uh, the hash code uh, override function right to a string method and you don't have to manually create it once you are using this particular package over here otherwise once you are creating a data package or the data class file you have to generate all of this right so you have to generate the the uh, equals operator you have to uh, override the hash code to a string and all of this stuff but uh, let's go to the installation over here let's grab this equitable from here and uh, let us go back to our uh, project over here and let's go and add it to the popspec.yml file over here and let us also add the uh, the link over here and let's go back over here and just copy the link from here and uh, just paste it over here and after that you can just run the uh, flutter pub get command over here and I guess I run the uh, wrong command flutter pub get okay so it's automatically running for us that's cool and once we have all of this let's go back to our uh, core folder over here and, and that will be of the uh, core and uh, let's create a new file in the core or the let's create a new folder and let's call this one as the exep exception and here let's create a new file and that file will be of the uh, failure.d failure dot the dot and you can also give a different name uh, if you like it but let's just give it as a failure and i'll create a class over here and that will be of a, a failure and this failure uh, i will extend it with the uh, mixing with uh, sorry it should be of the uh, wit with eqa equitable uh, mixing so let's add that and i need to implement uh, implement uh, the exception class over here and let's override the uh, some of the uh, function over here and missing override okay so let's just create some of the properties that we require for this class so final uh, i'll require a string of the mess message and i'll also require the final int uh, let's say it's of a nullable type of the status code in case we have some error on um, some status code that we want to pass in final i will require a ex exception over here and that will be of all let's call this one as exception and then uh final i'll require a stack a trace over here and that will be of the stack trace over here and once we have all of this let's generate the constructor for this particular class let's go and generate the constructor and we are good to go so let's just arrange this one properly over here so this is status code this is of the exception and then this is of the uh, stack trace and let's just make this one as the named argument and once we have this let's make this one as the uh, uh required R -E -Q -U -I -R -E -D required and once we have that uh, let's make this one also our uh, R -E -Q -U -I -R required and let's arrange this one properly first of all and let's grab this one and the exception uh, we'll make this one as the uh I guess we'll make this one as a nullable. So this status code is nullable, so I don't have to pass. So 
and this exception let's just make it as a nullable to some sometimes we may not have that and for this one we can just create a default one so uh so a stack trace uh, stack trace uh, then stack trace dot it should have a empty so that's a generate an empty stack trace for us and once we have that let's just go and generate the uh, code that we require and i'll just uh, generate the equitable and uh, then i'll just make this one as the uh, dynamic instead of the object then that error should be gone and let's override the uh, two string method over here so let's go and generate the uh, two string over here and i guess that should be fine and uh, let's remove this one the first package we are not going to use that one and once we have that failure uh, the class we are good to go so this failure is our custom exception uh, class later we will be using it to pass in the different kind of the exception uh, when we are using a try catch and uh, for that uh, I, I guess that's all for this lesson we just created a custom uh, exception class and we'll be using it later on so uh, let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day